drainage is really important to the productivity of our farm uh, because if we don't have good drainage, our crop yields go down, our timeliness goes down, and then our efficiencies go down. As margins will continue to get tighter, as costs increase, uh, expensive seed, herbicide, and so forth uh, get more expensive, uh, it's really important that we get as much productivity out of our fields as possible. Um, good drainage allows us to do that, and without that good drainage, we would not be able to farm these soils efficiently. Years ago, um, this land was covered with prairies. There was about 18 million acres of prairie land in the Minnesota River Basin, and I believe now we're down to about 1% of that. And so you can see why we need to be very strategic in looking at drainage projects. When we have these rain events, which tend to really impact our land, it causes a lot of silt buildup in our rivers, which eventually end up down in the, the delta. Um, they've even identified silt out in the, the Mississippi River that comes right from Blue Earth County, and a large portion of it does. Even the nutrients come from uh, southern Minnesota. INS Group understands the importance of agricultural drainage, but we are also sensitive to the potential environmental impacts that improved drainage can have on the environment. This is one of the primary factors in our efforts to incorporate conservation drainage practices into every agricultural drainage system we design. Some of the water quality features that INS has designed as part of the agricultural drainage projects include uh, rate control weirs at the end of systems, large storage basins that provide reduction of peak flow during large rain events, similar to what's behind me here. Uh, Two-stage ditches, which provide a channel in a channel. And that channel reduces erosion by providing a flood bank that's planted with native plantings. At the same time, using culvert control to reduce peak flow and the wider channel in a two-stage ditch to provide additional storage. Other features that we've incorporated include native grass buffers, which help with erosion on side slopes and also help with nutrient uptake. Some of the conservation practices that INS has uh, worked into some of our projects have worked very well. I'm kind of excited about how it's going to work in the long term. Of course, with the major project, County to 57, of course, we have, we're doing uh, some studies and actually we'll have some data uh, on that to see how well exactly it does work. Um, it's neat to see like the weirs, which are don't cost a whole lot, like the one behind me here, how much of effect that does have on downstream, you know, initial impacts and some of the peak flows. So it's, uh, I'm kind of excited about that. How can we engage our federal government and state government? We're doing it here, specifically in Mableton, bringing people together to see a number of practices in one place and understanding how they all fit together to make agriculture benefit as well as the environment. It's been a goal of our administration to really have public and private partners address these challenges, both with improving agriculture, the environment, and protecting our downstream neighbors. Really finding that sweet spot that all of us together can, uh, can benefit. INS provides cost-effective designs on water quality drainage projects through working with landowners, and agencies to provide win-win solutions. 